Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or hello if you are new. So this week I'm doing a spread using my own kit, the Bullet Journal Part 2 kit. Last year I released a Bullet Journal kit and you guys really liked it and it's been doing really well in the shop, so I thought I would bring out a Part 2. So that was your full boxes, you had your half boxes, it's got some checklists, some headers, weekend banner, a few like doodly decorative stickers, and then this is the bottom washi strips with some extra little washi strips as well. So I'm going to start with the washi along the bottom. I feel like I haven't done this for ages in my planner. I've been using lots of washi rolls lately so it's nice to switch it up and use some big washi again. Then I'm just going to put the date covers along the top so there are date covers that comes with this kit and I decided to pull them down so that way I didn't have to worry about any date dots or anything. There isn't any date dots included in this kit but normally I would kind of put some washi up there, stick these over where it says the numbers and then write the numbers underneath myself but I thought I would just pull them down a little bit and I really liked how it turned out I would have liked it better if it was straight but I like it so going in day by day I started with a today header I'm at work on Monday so I just wrote down that I need to work and also that I will be catching a lift in with my friend she doesn't work at the same place as me, but she can drop me off. And then I used one of the doodle arrows that's included with the kit. I put down my Hello Monday full box, and I also put down one of the envelopes that comes with the kit as I needed to check on all of my um, Etsy messages, which I'm all up to date now. And then underneath there, I just put a half box as I have my food shop delivery, usually I do my food shop on a Tuesday, I kind of place the order, I do my food shop online. Oh, so much easier, especially when you have children. Um, however, I've been switching it and doing it at the weekend and having it delivered on a Monday. Seems to be working out better. I put down that I wanted to have a coffee break, obviously I've been at work all day, then I had to put all the shopping away, and before my son done his homework, I just wanted to like have a bit of me time and have a nice coffee. And then moving on to Tuesday, I put the full box at the top. I put a quarter box with a little poppet from the social sheet and just write down that I wanted to edit a video. I'm also doing the voiceover as well, but I didn't put that in, I completely forgot. Um, I also wanted to get some laundry done, so I used a laundry poppet. I used the paw print from the deco sheet because I want to uh, change my cat's collar. And then I wanted to take some photos today, although I haven't got round to it yet, but I might do it later this afternoon. I put down a washi strip and I've got a TV programme on. Me and my daughter always watch American Horror Story on a Tuesday. So I just marked that down with one of the TV icons from the kit. And also another TV programme is um, a series called You. We were supposed to watch it last week or start it last week and it just kind of never happened. So we're going to start it tonight. And then I put one of the doodle arrows down as my daughter's got some coursework to do. For Wednesday I put down a today header and inside there I just put that I want to post some orders and then I use one of the Happy Mail poppets. For my to-do section I just put a full box down and then on top of that I put a quarter box as I just want to spend some time designing so I used one of the PC poppet stickers. Underneath that I used a book from the deco sheet and then a half box as all of my children have got some homework to do so I just write down homework and then I drew like a little box and then write their names beside them and that way you can just tick it off when that child has done their homework. For Thursday I started with a to-do box and I want to restock some of my shop on Thursday so I just wrote down restock and drew some boxes and that way I can go back and fill it in when I figured out which poppets I need to restock and kits. I know that I need to restock kits as well. Underneath there I just put another strip of the washi and then I used one of the large page flag kind of stickers as I'm going to be uploading another video on Thursday.
To fill up the space at the bottom, I just used another full box. And then moving on to Friday, I put down the yay sticker because it's Friday. Even though I have to work, it's still a yay day for me. <laughs> and then I put down a, a quarter box to mark down that I will have a new release, which is obviously going to be this kit. I put down a today header and a full box and then on top of the full box I put a half box just to write down that I will be at work. At the bottom I use the credit card from the deco sheet as I need to remind myself to take the travel money out for the children next week so that way I've got it ready for Monday and I just use the remember sticker and another doodle arrow. For the weekend I put down the weekend banner, I put down one of the little flowers from the deco sheet and just wrote down that my son has got a student morning at his college. While he's there we're going to be shopping in the city so to mark that I put it down on a half box and just wrote down city shopping. We'll be out in the city pretty much all day so I just put my full box down and then at the bottom I used another one of the kind of page flag, they're like large page flags, as my younger son really wants to cook dinner for us all, which is so adorable. So I just marked that down in my planner. For Sunday I used one of the Pop It planning stickers as I want to film next week's plan with me. I put down the sticker that says let's do this with a Pop It from the Home Life sheet as I have got a mountain of housework to do. To block off time again I just used a full box and then I put down one of the poppets from the lunch sheet and also that I need to get bags ready for school so I just used one of the poppet bags. And then flipping it over to the sidebar I used my last full box at the top and it doesn't quite cover the writing but I just used one of the washi strips that comes with the kit. I put down a habit tracker and then used my last washi strip to split up for the next habit tracker. I created my next week section with the next week header and also a checklist. And then down at the bottom I'm still doing the 52 week saving challenge so I put a half box with a pop it piggy bank from the saving sheet and just write down that this week I have to put aside £4. I then just went back and filled in my next week section and also my habit trackers. So that's this week's spread finished and here's everything that I've got left. I didn't quite use the whole entire kit. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I really hope that you like the kit. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you did like this video then make sure you give me a thumbs up. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not new. I feel like I say the same things every week. <laughs> Whatever else you are up to this week, I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you all on Thursday. Bye guys!